Chapter One of And Thus He Came. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by David Wales. And Thus He Came by Cyrus Townsend Brady. Chapter One The Baby. A Little Child Shall Lead Them the heavy perfume of rare blossoms the wild strains of mad music the patter of flying feet the murmur of speech the ring of laughter filled the great hall now and again a pair of dancers peculiarly graceful and particularly daring held the centre of the floor for a moment while the room rang with applause into alcoves screened and flower-decked couples wandered in the dancing space hands were clasped and bosoms rose and fell hearts throbbed pulses beat and moving bodies kept time to rhythmic sound suddenly the music stopped the conversation ceased the laughter died away almost as it were poised in the air the dancers stood amazed one looked to another in surprise something stole throughout the room which was neither music nor light nor fragrance but which was life a presence do you see that child asked the wildest of the dancers of her escort there she pointed he looks like a very little boy i see nothing said the man who still held her in the clasp of his arm he is strangely dressed although i see him indistinctly vaguely whispered the woman he wears a long white robe and there is a kind of light about his face see he is looking at us i see nothing repeated the man in low tones the heat the light the music have disturbed you let me get you oh, i want nothing interposed the woman waving the man aside and drawing away from his arm don't you see him there she made a step toward the centre of the room she stopped put her hand to her head why he is gone she exclaimed good said the man while at that instant the room suddenly rang with cries go on with the music the dance is not half over he extended his arm to the woman again our dance is not finished yes it is she said as the flying feet once more twinkled across the polished floor as everybody took a long breath and a new start apparently unconscious of the pause it is over for me what i saw what did you see i don't know but i'm going back home to my child good night yes the music had stopped suddenly the man in the farthest alcove turned to his companion they were hidden by a group of palms i wonder why queried the woman she was deathly pale her eyes were dark with fear yet alight with passionate determination when it begins said the man tenderly we will slip away my car is outside everything is ready that is my husband over there said the woman yes said the man he won't trouble you any more that woman with him is leaving him she said i wonder why she turned suddenly with a great start there is somebody here she whispered staring into the back of the alcove nonsense said the man throwing a glance around the recess there's nobody here but you and i we are alone together as we shall be hereafter when we have taken the step but that child whispered the woman with his strange vesture and his wonderful face his eyes look at me so there is no child there my dear urged the man you are overwrought excited nervous the music starts let us go he stretched out his hand to the woman but as he came nearer she shrank back with her own hand on her heart oh she said faintly he's gone of course he's gone he answered soothingly now is our time to get away let me oh no no said the woman i can't go with you now it wouldn't be right but 
you knew that before pleaded the man besides yes but i can't do it he was here his eyes spoke i don't touch me she said i'm going back to my husband don't follow End of chapter 1